Hello, Webflow community. I'm Joe Krug, CEO and founder of FinSuite. We have a big announcement for you, and that announcement will be given in this video. If you're a CMS library user or a FinSuite fan, you'll want to hear this message. Hey, my face, no problem. This is available as a written blog piece in the description. The topic of this video is our new attribute system. Attributes will be the home of all future free community tools from FinSuite. Attributes is a series of solutions in Webflow that would normally require code to accomplish. And instead of writing code, we use attributes. Our most popular existing solutions will be migrated to attributes. Anything we do from today forward will be developed and released as attributes. The goals of this video are to, number one, understand why FinSuite is growing out of CMS library and transitioning to attributes. Understand how you benefit from this as a Webflow user. Learn how attributes works with a live example and get you excited to use attributes on your next project. CMS library has been our most popular community solution. Today, CMS Library helps thousands of developers and serves millions of pages monthly. And we're no longer supporting CMS Library because we've created a 2.0 solution. We have completely rebuilt our entire system. Every line of code is fresh, every feature revisited for improvement. And this update is so intense that we can't call it CMS Library 2.0. We've heard your feedback and you've motivated us to deliver you a superior solution. And that solution is called attributes. Let's get into specifics about why attributes is so much better than CMS library. We have a long list of why. CMS library is great, don't get me wrong. It's helped many people build and deliver better Webflow projects. CMS library may be the ideal solution for your project. However, we do understand that it's far from perfect. You may have had a project or a use case that just can't be solved with CMS library, and we do not like that. So let's look at the problems that we do have with CMS library. These are the reasons why CMS library may not work for one of your projects. First, pretty bad UX when you're using load more and filter when your CMS list is long. Filtering can also be very slow if there's a lot of items on the page. E-commerce cart button can conflict with CMS library, sliders, tabs, not much flexibility, some issues there. And it's not fully modular or truly flexible for unique use cases. So attributes has fixed 100% of these problems. Yes, every problem I just said is now working by default in attributes. Our rebuild took all of these problems into consideration. We don't want our tools to work for some projects and not work at all for others. We want FinSuite tools to be valuable and usable across all Webflow projects. Now let's go through the list of optimizations, of improvements that we've made in attributes. First, it's 100% modular. Only load the functionality that you actually need. Each solution is seamlessly intercompatible. It's fully asynchronous with non-blocking runtime. Users are now able to start interacting with your website immediately while Attributes runs its tasks in the background. And this right here fixes so many of your problems with CMS Library. It's accessibility focused. Everything is accessible by default in Attributes. And coming soon, we have debug mode for automated support, and also coming soon, an extendable JavaScript API for developers. This allows attributes to work as the base for any custom code base solution that's required in Webflow. We're getting more serious about the quality of product that we deliver to you. We're dedicated to giving you the best technical solutions in Webflow. And our biggest upgrade is the improvement in CMS data filtering. Attribute CMS filter manages your filter data like no other solution in Webflow. Most filter solutions will render all items on the page and then set display none to items that are not visible in the list. CMS library does this as well. Let's watch this example. 
all items are on the page, and as I filter, all of the items remain there, and their display changes. They're set to display none, and then they're set to not display none, and display none is removed, and that just keeps happening as we change the filter. Attributes features a more powerful solution that only renders items on the page if the item is needed. Render is a fancy term for displaying on the page. So watch this example. As the filter changes, we're only going to render the items that need to be seen. As the filter updates, items are being added and removed from the DOM. No display none. Attributes manages your state of the collection list and adds reactivity to collection items. It surgically renders and removes collection items only when required. This works very similar to many JavaScript frameworks like React, and we're bringing that power into attributes and Webflow. This is going to prevent unneeded layout computations. It keeps the DOM much smaller. It's going to respect CSS properties like nth child for filtering. And all of this is part of our mission to be the most performance solution for your Webflow project. And all of this is no code. I know we just got a little technical with that explanation, but I assure you, attributes is for all users of all experience levels. You will not have to write, edit, or copy paste any inline JavaScript to your website. Let's look at the steps that you would take to implement any attribute solution. Look at this. First, we copy the script file for the solution that we want to use, and then we're going to paste it in the head of the page. Then we'll apply attributes to elements on the page to identify them. Some solutions may require one or a few attributes. Some solutions require many attributes. We have documentation to help you throughout this process. We have visuals, we have screenshots, we have screen records, all in the docs. Attributes is a system. We've built it as a system so all of our solutions can feel unified. So all of our solutions can be approached with the same mindset. And as you continue to implement attributes in your project, the system will feel more familiar because every solution has the same process. There are two types of attributes. We have elements and options. Look at this structure. Functionality, element, element name. Functionality, option, option you want. Let's see an example here. We apply element attributes when we want to define an element on the page. For example, adding a reset attribute to the button that should act as the reset filter button. It defines what an element on the page is. It's the reset button. We apply option attributes when we want to define options within a functionality. For example, adding a show query attribute to CMS filter. It customizes an option for the filter functionality. You can optionally show URL query parameters based on filtered results. This is an option. These are the only two types of attributes in our system. You're either tagging an element or you're giving an element an option. That's it. Copy to clipboard, custom slider dots, CMS filter, mirror input, everything. Everything follows it. Not only have we migrated our CMS library solution to attributes, we've rebuilt our suite tech solution. We've migrated some FinSuite hacks, and we've created a whole new series of new useful functionalities in Webflow. All of this is in attributes. Look at what we've done with our suite tech solution. Instead of adding tags for classes like this, we're going to write HTML directly in the rich text block. We can add classes, IDs, attributes, anything we want. HTML directly in line with the text gives us full control over our rich text blocks. Works in CMS too. And this is not the best part. We're introducing components to the rich text block. Add entire components in line to rich text content. Components can be added from any page of your project. Same page, different page. The options here are endless. Custom call to action blocks, advertisement bars, tables, calculators, forms, anything you want. As long as it's in your Webflow project, it can be added anywhere inside the rich text block. 
At the time of this launch, we have 20 attributes solutions, and this is just the beginning. Our list of attributes will continue to grow. We will continue to build this system because it's scalable and it's modular. Previously, FinSuite has released different sub-brands, different landing pages, and different names for each new solution. CMS Library, Suite Text, Calinvite, Hacks, Class Adder, and more. Although this was an excellent strategy for us at the time, this is not a solution that fits with our company today. The decision to create the sub-brands, the unique landing pages, the cool video intros, was made over three years ago. And FinSuite has evolved since then, and our tools must evolve as well. All free FinSuite community tools will now be consolidated to attributes. This is our official platform for existing solutions and new ex solutions. And if you have an existing solution, it's still going to be available and accessible. If you have an existing solution implemented in a web project, you have nothing to worry about. Everything will still work in your existing project. The only difference is we're not going to be supporting or updating those existing solutions. We're all in on attributes. Let's look at the roadmap here for attributes and see how we plan to grow it. Phase one, beta, done. Release 10 attribute solutions. We got feedback. We changed some documentation. We got information about how people are implementing total success. Phase two, that is delivered today. That's CMS library rebuild, CMS filter, sort, load more, slider, tabs, combine, nest, and newly added CMS select. Phase three, that's in the near future, early next year. Accessibility series, attribute solutions specifically related to accessibility inside Webflow. And then we have phase four, that's going to be after phase three is completed, and that is community voted solutions. We will start building attribute solutions based on what you tell us to build. Go to finsuite.com slash vote to start putting in your recommendations and start voting. Throughout all of this, we're going to explore better ways to integrate this into FinSuite extension. FinSuite extension allows you to do powerful workflow functions inside Designer, and we want to bring that same workflow improvement to attributes. Today, you can copy working examples of attribute solutions and paste them into Webflow Designer direct from the extension. This can help lessen the learning curve, and it's great for beginners or people who are advanced that want to save time with implementation. So we're working on this. We're going to make it better and better for you. As we transition to our live working example, let's look at the benefits that you receive as a user. One, attributes will make it easier to implement solutions that would normally require code. This means less time to set up, less of a learning curve, more of a structured system, and better docs. Attributes is more reliable in your Webflow project. We've rebuilt this entire system with our best at FinSuite. No hacked together solutions, only developer approved reliable solutions. Number three, much better performance for your published site. Our new system is more lean, more fast, more performant for your end users. And number four, a capable, dedicated team to manage it. Super important. FinSuite is 100% focused on Webflow and our attributes platform. We're here to support it, grow it, and make it the best add-on to Webflow. Attributes is free. This is not something we're going to monetize in the near future. Our solutions are here to build a strong Webflow community, not to profit. We're now going to shift to the live example portion of the announcement and see how fast we can create a load more instance on a Webflow site. We're here in Webflow Designer. First, know that this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial. We have other videos for this that really go step-by-step -step how this is all set up. This demo is to show you how quickly attributes can be put on your Webflow build. Here we have a Webflow CMS collection list, and note that pagination is enabled on this list. We're going to first paste the attributes load more script file into the head of the page, just like this. 
we'll save and then we'll go back to the collection list and we'll add our first attribute. There we go, CMS load element list, nice. We'll publish our page and there we go. Now we have load more functionality on the collection list. Look at that, as we click this next button, more and more items are going to load on the same page. That's all we need. Excellent. So this is working and you can see just with these two steps, we created a pretty powerful functionality inside Webflow. Now let's customize it for our project, for our specific use case. We're going to customize it with options. Here we're back on the collection list. This is the element that we added the list attribute to. And now let's go add an option. FS CMS load mode and pagination. Okay, this will give us a paginated list. So instead of loading items underneath, it's going to have a next and a previous button and paginate on the same page. Okay, and we're live. There we go. We have same page pagination functionality. That's it. This is how attributes works. We apply attributes to elements on the page to identify them, and then we apply options to those elements to customize functionality. That's attributes. We have a library of solutions ready for you to use and to explore for your next project. Some solutions are more simple than others. Some are more complex. They require visuals and we have given you those visuals. Check out the documentation. We have screen records, screenshots. It's all there. Attributes will allow you to say yes to more projects will allow you to work with more challenging projects with less effort. More power, more growth, less code. We're building strong in Webflow, and that's attributes. Go to finsuite.com slash attributes to learn more about these solutions and how they can help you with your next project.